Tilly the Toucan had to be resourceful in order to outsmart the sneaky slick and survive in the lush rainforest. Though she had always been bright, Tilly's adventures in the vibrant jungle had taught her to be even more cunning and quick-witted. One day, as Tilly perched on a branch, she overheard Slick, the crafty snake, scheming to steal the precious rainforest stone from the animal's sacred clearing. Tilly knew that the stone was crucial for maintaining harmony in the rainforest, and she couldn't let Slick take it away. Tilly sought the help of her best friend, Milo the monkey. They devised a plan to outwit Slick and protect the rainforest stone. Tilly and Milo had to navigate through the dense undergrowth, across the babbling brook, and up the tallest tree in the forest to reach the sacred clearing. Meanwhile, Slick was slithering through the vines, his forked tongue flicking in anticipation. He had spent years watching the animals and learning their secrets, and now he was ready to claim the rainforest stone for himself. As Tilly and Milo reached the sacred clearing, they found Slick coiled around the rainforest stone, his sinister eyes gleaming with delight. Oh, Tilly and Milo, he hissed, you're too late. The stone is mine now. Tilly didn't falter. She knew she had to keep Slick talking to buy time for Milo to enact their plan. Why do you want the stone, Slick? she asked, feigning curiosity. What's in it for you? Slick couldn't resist the chance to boast. Why, my dear Tilly, with this stone, I'll have the power to control the entire rainforest. No more hiding in the shadows, no more waiting for opportunities. I'll be the master of it all. While Slick was distracted, Milo stealthily moved around the clearing, preparing a trap. Tilly continued to engage Slick in conversation, learning more about his motives and desires. She realised that beneath his sinister exterior, Slick was a lonely and misunderstood creature. Milo's trap was ready, and he signalled Tilly with a discreet nod. Tilly pretended to be defeated, saying, Well, I guess there's nothing we can do. Enjoy your reign, Slick. She and Milo started to leave, but Slick's arrogance got the better of him. As he slithered after them, boasting about his victory, Slick tripped the trap Milo had set. Tightly bound in vines, Slick could no longer reach the rainforest stone. Tilly and Milo had outsmarted him. But why? Slick hissed, his voice filled with disbelief. Why do you protect the stone? Tilly looked at him with a kind, knowing gaze. The stone keeps the rainforest in balance, Slick. It's not meant for anyone to control. We need each other to survive and thrive, and it's our job to preserve this harmony. Slick realised the error of his ways, and as he slithered away, he promised to mend his villainous ways. Tilly and Milo knew that while Slick might be cunning, their resourcefulness and friendship would always prevail. And so, life in the rainforest returned to normal, with Tilly and Milo continuing their adventures, ever watchful and resourceful. The rainforest stone remained in the sacred clearing, and harmony was maintained. But Tilly and Milo's adventures were far from over. One day, as the sun rose over the rainforest, Tilly received an urgent message from the wise old owl, Orin. Tilly, I need your help, Orin said. A group of animals has been captured by poachers, and they need your resourcefulness and bravery to save them. Tilly and Milo knew they had no time to lose. They gathered their friends, including Slick, who had turned over a new leaf and now wanted to help protect the rainforest. Together, they set off on their most daring adventure yet. As they ventured deeper into the rainforest, they encountered many challenges. They had to cross a raging river, navigate a dark and gloomy cave, and climb a towering cliff. But Tilly's resourcefulness... Milo's agility and their friend's unique abilities helped them overcome each obstacle. Finally, they arrived at the poacher's camp where the captured animals were being held. Tilly, Milo, Slick and their friends devised a clever plan to free the animals and teach the poachers a lesson. As night fell, Tilly and Milo snuck into the camp while Slick and the others created a distraction. 
While the poachers were occupied, Tilly and Milo unlocked the cages and freed the captured animals. They then led the animals to safety, just as their friend's distraction came to an end. With the captured animals free, Tilly and her friends confronted the poachers. Instead of fighting, Tilly used her words to make the poachers understand the importance of the rainforest and the creatures that live there. You may see us as mere animals, she said, but we're part of a delicate balance that keeps this rainforest alive. We're not just resources for you to exploit. We're living beings and we deserve to be treated with respect. The poachers listened, their eyes filled with remorse. They realised that their actions had consequences, not just for the animals, but for the entire rainforest. They vowed to change their ways and protect the rainforest instead of destroying it. With the animals safe and the poachers reformed, Tilly, Milo and their friends returned to their home in the rainforest, ready for the next adventure. They knew that as long as they had each other and their resourcefulness, there was no challenge too great for them to overcome. The End